Hey, St. Patty's Day is coming up, and you know me, we are gonna try to get it right. Now, I'm not a big cabbage fan, I'm a beef fan, but I got something, a cabbage recipe for you. It is a blooming bacon baked cabbage. Stick around. <music> luck of the Irish may be with me because I looked out there when we had the rainbow at the pot of gold. Look what it was. A Dutch oven. Is they gold in it? Let's find out. Oh my gosh, look what the little leprechauns brought me. I never was a great big fan of cabbage till I married an Irish girl. And then she got to telling me that it was really good for me. You could cook it these many different ways. But I still couldn't find a way I really liked it till I got to experiment with it. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna do a bacon buttered Parmesan cabbage in a Dutch oven. Mm. Yes, we are. It will be good, folks. All the little leprechauns and the Irish folks will be lining up and we'll be doing the Irish, uh, whatever you call it, dance. It'll be good, I promise you. So what you need for this, you're gonna need a deep Dutch oven. Today I have it in a deep 12. First, let's take this off. That is a little what we would call weathered from holding the rest of it together. Let me move my little Dutch oven over here. <gasps> Look what the leprechauns left under it. Some hog meat. So, first of all, I want you to take your knife, make sure it's sharp. And you folks been hollering for a sharpening video? Stick around, cause it's coming in the near future to a YouTube channel near you. Yes it is, and it is rated what? Sharp. So, we need this to be able to set platter, and with this stem on there, it won't do that. So let's just take that much off, that it's gonna set good in there level. The lid will fit, and we're gonna cut us a hole in there. thinking that all this here is going to go to waste. We have a bunny in the backyard. He is the Easter bunny. So he does like cabbage. So we're going to let him have it. What's going to live in the little hole we cut out? A stick of unsalted butter. Now, I like to press him down in there. Folks, as the butter found its home, we didn't go all the way through there. I just wanted to go about yay deep. But what else do we need to do? Right here at the corners of this hole, I want to cut him just a tad. That way when he cooks and softens, it'll sort of blossom. And that butter can run up amongst there. I cut this at all four corners where the butter was living. Chicken broth. Because I got to have something in there that's going to help make steam one cup of chicken broth. Now, Chan would prefer the organic kind that comes like, I don't know, organic veal. Popeye's girlfriend, olive oil. Just take a little in your hand, rub it around here. I just want this to get a little greasing everywhere. Some bacon. How much? You can't never have enough. Lay him across there. Cause we gonna cover him nearly plumb up to where you can't even see him. And hey, look who joined us to check on the bacon situation. You don't like cabbage? He says, no, nah, dad, but I do like some bacon. Red River Ranch Mesquite. Why do I wanna use the mesquite on this? Because it has a little ancho chili and it will give it some smoke flavoring. I like to try to move them bacons around just a tad. Make sure I get it on some of that cabbage. You can do this aforehand if you want. It's time to fire up some coals and cook this rascal. Now we are gonna put it on a tall trivet and we are gonna cook it slow. We don't wanna burn none of this. Folks, it's time to get after it, but I think I should introduce my special guest that's gonna help me cook it. Y'all have been asking me where she at. She's the other hot woman in my life. Who are we talking about? Let's hear it for my girl Bertha is back in the backyard. Say, old Bertha had me some ready, she did. So, took me a pretty good shovel full. Always remember, shake the ash out of there. We just want live coals. 
probably a medium to heavy ring on the bottom and about a medium heat on top. I'll be able to pull this away once things get to simmering to slow it down some, but I want to get that action started. That might be why you be thinking I might be just a tad heavy at the first one I told you I was going to cook it slow. I'll get it to going, then I can regulate that heat by pulling some of them coals back. You see me wet the outside edge of that down a little, so in the backyard, if the hate to say it folks, the wind ain't blowing, might get up, but this way ain't gonna start no forest fire. Yeah, I done a little adjusting. Never be without one of these. A fork will save your life when you're cooking a Dutch oven. Want to rearrange that bacon a little, spread them leaves around just a tad, make sure that bacon grease is seeping down in there like it is and I can see some separation starting to take place, it's gonna bloom. We might even call it a blooming cabbage. Remember, about 10 minutes in, poke that bacon a little rearranger there so we don't get too brown on top. Well, folks, I checked it. Things was happening up there on top because remember, we're close to that lid. So what am I gonna do? Rake them coals to the outside edge. I wanna keep that good simmer and steam action going underneath, so I slid a few coals right there underneath the middle of that Dutch oven. We had to add a little more chicken broth because we don't want it to dry out and we did rotate. So we are ready to go. Just continue cooking like we are. Check. We had to check it again. That thing is blooming and spreading open. Pull them leaves a little back so I get that bacon dripping down in there. Also, when we did that, it's getting lower from the lid. So we increased the heat on top, rotated, checked that bottom heat with our hand. It was lacking just a little. So we scooted it in with a shovel just to get finished. But I think it's about time we ought to check it and see if it's tender. All you got to do is take your fork, reach down in here. You can see them leaves is good and tender, fall apart. This is a done deal. Everybody is happy. So let's take him over to the table and we'll see what's happening. And you hear that? That is the dinner bell for all the Irish folks that's going to come over and eat. All of it's done spread out, bloomed. That cabbage is bloomed. It's ready to be picked. So where them sides have pulled out, I'm just going to take the tongs, reach in there, and cut. Get your plate over here handy. Be sure you try to get some of that broth in there. I like to just sort of slice it up to where it's bite size. It will slice easy because it is tender. Then I'm going to mix it all back up here. Just a little dab of this, a little Parmesan cheese, a little, nah, we're going to put a lot on there. If you want to, too, you can pull out another hunk of bacon over here and put with it. That's what I'd do. Mm. Tender goodness. That cabbage got that good flavor from that chicken broth, but that bacon grease is seeped all the way down there through the bottom. Cheese gives it just a little extra. Mm. Folks, I guarantee you when you cook this, go ahead and make four batches because they're going to be enough people show up to eat it. It is a great day above the grass. Beautiful day in southwest Oklahoma it is. Don't forget St. Patrick's Day is coming up and we're going to be themed this week. What's coming up next in the next episode? An Irish bread. Probably made by an Irish girl. So y'all be sure and stick around. Look for it this week. God bless you each and every one. Hit the subscribe button. See you down the trail. You know, folks, I'm a little disappointed in you. Not bad, but just a little. Went through this whole video, and I never heard none of you holler out to me right now, what happened to your mustache? Yep, it's gone, but it's coming back. You may tell you what happened to it? Last week, I was at cooking school. Cracked the door on old Bertha. She kissed me. Got all one side, part of an eyebrow. Sort of singed my ear a little there, it did. But it will come back. I put some Rogaine on it, something like that. I think that'll help it some fertilizer. I don't know. Let me just remind you too, we send out a newsletter, an email deal every month. Got a lot of great recipes on it. If you ain't signed up for our email, you need to do so. Shan will have a little link where you can find it to hit it and you'll be getting all that information. It is down there below the video. It's got recipes on there, promotions, where we might be going to show up next week. You can't never tell. We might be in your town. So don't forget it.